Hi guys, it's Shira Cohen. I've gotten a lot of requests to explain the interpretation of hepatitis B serologic testing results. So I hope this helps you not get this question wrong in the test because it is most likely that they'll ask you something like this. So let's go through it together. Now, whenever you see IgM, you, you should think of active infection. Whenever you see IgG, the G is for gone, means it was in your system, but it's gone. Whenever you see hepatitis B surface antigen, you should also think that it's positive at that moment and that you can infect people. And antibody hepatitis B serum, whenever you see serum, think of it that it's in your system, in your blood from a in previous infection or think immunity as well. And this is the interpretation. So let's go over it together and I hope it makes sense. So patient comes in and the IgM is positive. You're like, uh oh, you have it. IgG, it's negative. You have it because you just got it. Not because it's gone. You have it right now. In the hepatitis B surface antigen, it's positive. So not only do you have it, but you're, you're infectious. You can infect people. And the antibody hepatitis B serum, it's negative. Um, so this means you have an acute infective infection. So stay away from people because you're going to infect them if they're not immune. Let's keep moving. IgM is negative. They don't have it. IgG, it's negative. They haven't had it. The hepatitis B surface antigen is positive. Oh, oh, you, you, you're infected. And the antibody hepatitis B serum in the blood, it's negative. Well, guess what? You just recently got infected and your body hasn't had a chance to build immunity. That's an early acute hepatitis B virus infection. Let's keep moving. IgM, negative, don't have it. IgG is positive, you've had it. Hepatitis B surface antigen is negative, so you've had it, so you're not infectious right now. You won't infect other people. And your antibody hepatitis B serum in your blood is positive, it means you have a resolved, because it's gone, hepatitis B virus infection, and your body has built immunity to it. Let's keep moving. IgM, negative, don't have it. IgG, negative, you've never had it. Hepatitis B service antigen, negative. You don't have it and you're not infectious because you've never had it. And your antibody hepatitis B serum is positive. If you have the antibody that is positive, you've never had the infection, well, guess what? It's because you had the vaccination, right? Let's do another one. IgM, negative, don't have it. IgG, negative, never had it. Hepatitis B surface antigen, it's negative. You don't have infection right now. And your antibody hepatitis B serum, it's negative. It means you're not immune to it. So you better get a vaccine for this person because they've never been exposed to it and they have no sort of immunity for, for it either. Let's do one more here. IgM, negative. You don't have it. IgG, it's positive. So it's gone, means you had it. Hepatitis B surface antigen is positive. Oh my God, you've had it and now you can infect people because it's positive. And your antibody hepatitis B serum, it's negative. It means chronic hepatitis B v virus infection, hepatitis B virus infection. Let's do a little bit more, just in case this wasn't clear. And this should seal the package. Don't read this yet. Let's do this side. All right. Now, hepatitis B surface antigen, it's negative, not infectious. Hepatitis B surface antibody, negative. Antibody, right? No immunity. And hepatitis B core, when you think, when you see the C, I want you to think of core. It's negative. It means you're not infected, you don't have immunity, and it's not in your bloodstream, so you need to get the vaccine because it's never been it's never been in your system. Let's look at this one. Hepatitis B surface antigen is negative. You don't have it. Hepatitis B surface antibody, you have immunity. And hepatitis B core is positive. It means you've had it in the past. So 
Surface antibodies are present due to natural infection. You recover from this hepatitis B because it was in your core and, you, and that's how you build immunity. So you know that from this, what we just said. Let's go to the next one. Your hepatitis B surface antigen, negative. You don't have it. Hepatitis B surface antibody is positive. You have immunity and your core is negative means you've never had it. Well, you didn't get it from a previous infection or an active infection, so you're immune from vaccination. And the last one, hepatitis B surface antigen is positive. Oh man, they have it. Hepatitis B surface antibody, it's negative. Oh man, they haven't built the immunity yet. And they have hepatitis B core positive. This is not good. It means they've had it in the past, it's active right now, which means hepatitis B virus is present and you can spread it to other people because of this guy over here. I hope this helps. If you have to review this video over two or three or four times, it's worth it if it's gonna get that answer right on the test. Good luck, guys. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you um, that you would like for me to go over in the future. Good luck with your studies.